Hello, in this brief video we will walk through the steps of grading with rubrics in eClass forums. In a previous video we discussed whole form grading in eClass forums, which is the primary means of grading student posts. For context, please view the whole form grading video first. In order to insert a grading rubric in your forum, go to whole form grading, enable your preferred grade type, and then go to the grading method. By default, the grading method will be set to simple direct grading, which is the method of manually entering the numeric grade for each student. In order to enable rubrics, you will need to change the grading method. You will notice two additional options, grading guides and rubrics. A rubric, by eClass's definition, will have several criteria, each with preset grade values. A grading guide, on the other hand, also has several criteria but allows for the instructor to manually enter the score for each criterion. In this video, we will go over both methods. To begin, we will choose Rubric. Once your grading method is set, then scroll down and click Save and Display. After selecting the Rubric grading method, you will be immediately prompted to either insert a new grading form from scratch, or to choose a template that might be already present in your course. If you have already inserted a rubric into another discussion form for your course, click on the template option to search through your own forms. Otherwise, click Define New Grading Form from Scratch. To begin, give your rubric a name. Then, if desired, give your rubric a description. In the area below, you can then enter the criterion and levels for your rubric. For each text box, simply click on the cell to enter the text. You can also do the same with each point level on your rubric. If you need to add levels to your rubric, click Add Level. To create new criteria for your rubric, either click Add Criterion to add a new blank row, or use the Duplicate button to create a copy of the current row to use as a template. Once your rubric is complete, then scroll down to the Rubric options to choose certain settings for your rubric. This includes the sort order for the levels on your rubric, to either ascend or descend by the number of points. This also includes settings, such as whether the rubric can be previewed before attempts are made, or whether the rubric description or points will be visible. If the rubric is set, then click Save Rubric and make it ready. When grading student posts, each of the criteria in your rubric will be available, with a set of radio buttons to assign points. There will also be an additional feedback text box to provide commentary per criterion. Now let's cover the differences if you choose Grading Guide as your rubric. After choosing Grading Guide, you will get the same options as with choosing Rubric. You can use the Template option to search for a grading guide you have already created, or you can create a new grading guide from scratch. When entering the grading guide, you can enter the criterion name, a description that's available to either students or graders, and the maximum score per criterion. After entering your first criterion, then click the Add Criterion button to add more. After adding additional criterion, then you can scroll down. If you want, you can also insert frequently used comments. Once your grading guide is all set, click Save Grading Guide and make it ready. In the Grade Users page, each of your criteria will be listed, where you can insert the grade manually, and then write in additional comments, including your frequently used comments. After a student's forum post has been graded with a rubric or grading guide, they can see their itemized feedback by clicking on View Grades in the Discussion Forum page.